Good morning. Bon Crowder here, Nick Knack Yak in the Mass Shack. We are live on Periscope. This is episode 38. It is Wednesday, August 5th. You Am I still going? Yes. You can see all episodes at www.math4.com slash KKY. KKY stands for Nick Knack Yak. This is, uh, hey, C4. Forter, C Forter. That's probably sounds something. That's something bad. Probably. Thanks for the hearts. Um, we are talking about my don't mess with Texas coffee mug and all the weird little tools that are in it today. I do this every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern or 5 a.m. my time. So if you're in Texas, it's early. Well, I guess really if you're any place, it may be early, depending. Anyway, so this is my Don't Mess With Texas coffee mug, and it has all these fun tools in it. So I'm a little OCD when it comes to my tools and pens and pencils coffee mug. So I have one mug for pens, one mug for pencils, one mug for markers, one mug for dry erase markers. Hey, Jim, Texas. So, um, and I have one mug for non-writing utensils that are sort of vertical-like. So, um, you know, non-writing utensils like um, a stapler or a, you know, stuff like that, obviously they don't fit in here. So I need, this is sort of vertical tools in my Don't Mess With Texas mug. And in fact, um, I have another Texas mug and a Astroworld mug, which is from Houston, Texas. It's actually the, not the Texas giant, but the, the Texas Cyclone that they tore down. I think they moved it someplace. I would love to think that, but I, probably not. Okay, so let's look at the tools. So my first tool is, I don't have my glasses on, so this is going to be interesting. Um, hey there, Ackerman Praise. By the way, we're live on Periscope. You can tap the screen to give me hearts. Make sure to swipe and invite your friends. Um, anyone who's interested in strange office tools or Texas... Um, by the way, my son's middle name is Texas, for real, like on his birth certificate and everything. All right, so this is a screwdriver. Obviously, I got it um, for free from some company. It's a, oh, look, well, that's lame. It's a Phillips and a Phillips. Oh, one's a little bigger and one's a little smaller. Oh, one's a PH1 and one's a PH2. Clearly, a pH 2 is bigger than a pH 1. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> look, it comes out. <clears throat> and so then there's a, um, I wonder if this is called an FH. Nope. Oh, it's a 3 16th and a 1 4th. So Phillips are measured in pH 1s and 2s and stuff. I guess maybe 3s and 4s. And um, flathead screwdrivers are measured in, um, looks like inches maybe. So that would be three sixteenths of an inch and this is one fourth of an inch. Um, interesting how it is molded where this is straight across but yet this is, oh, maybe it is exactly perpendicular. I wonder why they do that. Anyway, okay, so that goes in there and that goes in there and I can use any of the four and that goes in there and how cool. I have this great screwdriver. So let's continue with screwdrivers. I have another flathead screwdriver. Now that I know that flathead screwdrivers have measurements, ooh, one eighth of an inch by four inches long. I want, I think that's the four inches, not the other. <clears throat> A little Edna ruler. So, yep. So that's the four inches of the I don't know, shaft or whatever it's called. Okay, any more screwdrivers in here? Ooh, another screwdriver. This is from Bobby Butler Bradfield Property Realtors. Look, Bobby, Bud for Bobby Butler Bradfield, you know that's from Texas, right? You got to turn to him for quality service. And sure enough, it's a Dallas phone number. Okay, so this is like a little pen. It doesn't close very well because I've broken it. Um, pen screwdriver thing. So same deal. I'm not sure why I have so many stinking screwdrivers. Oh, look at the other one. It's teeny weeny. Oh, it is so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't even see this thing. By the way, we're live on Periscope. You're at Knick Knack Yak and the Mashack. 
I do this every morning. Oh my goodness. How can I? Yes. Glasses. Let's see. Can I get, can I get this? I don't know if the iPhone will actually zoom in that close. I don't know. Anyway, teeny weeny Phillips screwdriver, teeny weeny, um, flathead screwdriver inside of, oh wow, look, is this another one? It's another pullout. Small Phillips screwdriver. It is for repairing my glasses. Um, it's a, you know, and I have lots of them, so, and I break them often, so, and then a smaller one. It is exactly for repairing my glasses. So, I'm going to remember this because I bought a bunch of those the other day. The other day being, I don't know, six months or a year ago. I'm totally not knowing that I had, I'm going to throw this piece away. That's going to bug me. Okay, so that's another screwdriver. Any more screwdrivers in here? This is an interesting device. Um, by Big Lift, clearly another free thing that I got. Ooh, it's a pen, ooh. It's gooey. Mm, it's really gooey. Maybe I should throw that away too. You know what I think this is though? I think this is a magnet on this end. It is not a magnet on that end. I'm pitching it. Okay, look, another type of screwdriver. I thought, I thought this was a, <laughs> totally wrong. I thought this was a Allen wrench. It is not. It is just a piece of metal that's really sharp on one end. I don't even know if you could use this as a weapon. I mean, it would hurt, but it wouldn't like do much. I mean, you have to stab somebody 3,000 times. It's like a Barbie doll weapon. She did it in the, um, I don't even know the rooms for a Barbie doll house. Whatever. Okay. This is an Allen wrench. Okay, so I have an Allen wrench screwdriver. No telling what size or why, but I have one. All right, let's go to something else that's more interesting. Aha! How cool is this? OP Marks Mini Max Skin Marking Pen. Single patient use. Clearly, I was the single patient. So you can do something like... Write a smile and say, cut here. This is where you want a surgery. You want to cut me a smile right there. Whatever. So, if somebody's going to do surgery and they write on you and they say, this knee right here needs to have its meniscus fixed, and then the doctor initials it and they go, it's a single patient use, why wouldn't you take it home to draw on yourself? I need to give that to my kids. Okay, fun little ruler. It is a um, little triangle thing on the end. That's not really a triangle. It is, there's a special shape to it. We'll have to ask our other math friends. So six inches or so. Made in El Salvador. Interesting. It's aluminum. By Autodesk. Oh, that's the AutoCAD people. Cool. All right. Oh, um. Texas A&M University Kingsville? How'd I get that? It is a letter opener. I have no idea where this stuff comes from. Ooh, China marker. I love these things, mostly because the way you sharpen them is you, you know, do the little pull down and then you go whoop. <laughs> Who doesn't like to sharpen a China marker? All right, so theoretically that should go in another thing, but it's because it's a writing utensil, but you can't really doesn't have a classification. <gasps> thermometer, classic thermometer with the uh, mercury in it, which you have to buy again online from someplace who knows what. Regular pair of scissors with my name on it, Crowder, because that's how I roll. Another pair of scissors, old, you can tell because it has BD instead of Bond Crowder. That's divine, my maiden name. So, these are the super duper sharp cutter bee precision tip is sharp. So they give you this little protector. This is definitely a murder weapon if you're not careful. Well, I mean, if you're careful and you want it to be a murder weapon, clearly that's a good thing, but seam ripper, because you never know when there's going to be a seam that gets on your nerves and you just need to get it out of there. <gasps> Unstapler. I love these kind of unstaplers. So, um, much quicker. They just go under the stapler and boop, are the staple 
an out. Almost last thing, it is the last thing, a, um, oh, the white out thing. So can you do it on your skin? Don't know, let's try. No, you cannot. Can you do it on paper towels? No, you can, oh, but you can smear the heck out of it on. Oh, there it goes. It doesn't really stick to paper towels. Yes, murder weapon. Cami says she has one. She can protect herself. Yeah, so it's also a defense weapon. So um, pretty much anything that is comes from the Don't Mess With Texas thing that's, I mean, it's long and thin. You can, like, hurt somebody. You may not be able to puncture them, but by golly, you stab somebody with a whiteout thing, that's just not going to feel good. It may break, but it's still not going to feel good. So whether it's a super sharp, Scissors, not so super sharp scissors, pretty dull. That would hurt. Yeah, I mean, people don't realize the um, the protection devices. Oh, and then look how nasty this is. Let me make sure there's nothing really gross. Ew. So, clearly I don't drink out of this coffee mug anymore. Um, although, I probably would. I would wash it first. I would. So that's the Don't Mess With Texas coffee mug. And let's put all the tools back. Two pair of scissors, taking an inventory. One, two. I had more screwdrivers. Three screwdrivers. Allen wrench kind of counts as a screwdriver. Four screwdrivers. Um, a health utensil. The temperature thermometer. A... Letter opener, a seam ripper, a fun ruler, a Barbie doll murder weapon, china pen, <laughs> and a skin pen, yeah, and a unstapler, and a whiteout pen. And that, my friends, is the Don't Mess With Texas tool mug that I keep next to all my other mugs with pens and stuff. So, uh-oh, we've got a word problem. How many random tools did Vaughn show you from the Don't Mess With Texas mug? We're going to take a quick street screenshot of that. I hope I didn't miss it. Oh, yeah, and there's supposed to be some sort of, um, some sort of online web-based, obviously, uh, thing where you can actually capture a periscope with the comments. I don't know how that works. Um, I know that you can do like you can set up Camtasia and then you, I don't know. Anyway, so someday I'll figure that out so I can capture comments and hearts that were just given. Thank you very much. Um, some cute little hearts that came up. Let's see. This was a rather long knickknack yak in the mash shack episode 38. It is Wednesday. Can we all say it? Hump day! I'm just not good at that. Um, the Don't Mess With Texas coffee mug with all the random office tools and some not so office-y tools. So I do this every morning at 6 a.m. Make sure to go to math4.com slash KKY and you'll see the Tumblr tumbling thing that has all the old videos on it and soon to be this video. And I hope you have a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. This is Bon Crowder. I am out.